Hello and welcome to the quick video about this thing here. This is my Ranger T1 that I've done the VTOL conversion on. And as you can see, I've installed my HD system up here at the front. This is the DJI Air Unit Lite, along with at the front a Cadix Nebula Pro. And this is how I tend to put the stuff in the nose. Now, for those of you that have been watching for a little time, you'll know that in the back of this, is something called the F405 VTOL, a flight controller from Matex specifically designed for VTOL aircraft. Now I am gonna cover how I've installed this stuff here. So here is the kit before it's actually being put in. So again, we have the Cadix Nebula Pro, which is my favorite camera for this stuff, an air unit light, and then we have out the back, three different wires. Now these wires here, we have a JST lead for the power. That's why I added that separate JST lead in the body of the model, which is there. So that can just plug into it. That's gonna provide the power. That JST lead here inside the Ranger T1 is coming from the spare ESC pads, just so any current that this thing pulls is also being monitored by the flight controller and I'll see it in the on-screen display. And then the other two leads that are here, one is going to go into the transmit and receive pins for a UART, and the other one is going to give me the S-Bus connection. And this is why I set my model up with the S-Bus stuff. Now, if we look at the wiring diagram for this, hopefully you can see how I'm going to put it all together and where everything is going to plug into the flight controller. Now, in terms of the actual settings that we need to put onto the flight controller, that isn't too tricky as well. Here on the Matech website, if we go down and we have a look at the Ardu Pilot mapping, then we can zoom all the way down here and we can find that pads TX4 and RX4, these ones here, are actually really perfect for the DJI OSD. And it's called Serial 4 within the settings of Mission Planner. So that means then Serial 4 is the one that I'm interested in. If we have a look at the MSP OSD information in the Ardu Pilot site, this tells you how to set it all up. And it says that we need to set the OSD type as three, and we need to set the serial two protocol as 33 and take the MSP options as zero, which is polling mode. And then we need to set custom OSD in the goggles themselves. So these are the things that we need to set inside of Mission Planner. Now we can do that in a couple of places. So let's plug it in and we'll do that setup. Now here inside Mission Planner to set everything up, we're gonna go into config and we're gonna go into onboard OSD. This will allow us to set the OSD type that we're interested in because the OSD type is actually down here. Now we're gonna set that to three and hit enter and then we're gonna say right customization and then we'll change the on units into Imperial as well. We'll also write the customization. So that is going to have changed the on-screen display that we needed from the onboard OSD, which is one, to the OSD type, which is the MSP on-screen display stuff. So what we're going to do then is we're going to go into the full parameter tree. Now we have set the OSD type to three, and we can check that that's the case. If we just come in here and we search for OSD underscore type and hit enter, we can see that that's set to three, which is great. We can also now search for serial four underscore, and that will show us all the different options. Now, if you remember again, we want the serial protocol to be 33 and MSP options to be zero. So we're going to set the serial four protocol to be 33 and we hit enter. Don't forget to write the parameters. Okay, and the last thing we need to do is search for MSP underscore options, and that needs to be zero, which it already is, which is, that is gonna be fab. Once that's all set, triple check, make sure you've written all your parameters, then you can set up how the onboard on-screen display or how the on-screen display is going to look in the goggles. 
You have the main settings in here that you can change and tweak, which is generic for all the different screens. Screen one is going to be the one that's going to be there by default. Now on a larger screen, I'd recommend using the biggest screen you can for this. It doesn't scale very well in Mission Planner for this, but you can kind of uh, scroll down here and, and turn things on and off. And you can also drag things around. And don't forget when you finished, make sure that you write the customization back. So that's all the software stuff done. Let's go back on the desk and I'll show you some of the tips and tricks I've done to actually install the air unit light into the nose. So with those pieces set inside Mission Planner, then it's just a case of installing this stuff and plugging these leads into the right place. So let me just give you a couple of quick tips of how I've done it here. Uh, you'll have spotted that I've put two little pieces of wood. These are actually the stick from an ice lolly from summer. Always save your ice lollies. And I've opened up the back a little bit so that I can get everything through without having to cut the foam. That's gonna make this relatively easy to install. The only thing I am gonna to have to do is cut through the middle here with a very sharp knife so that I don't have to undo this cable from the air unit to the camera again. It's just a case of pushing the camera into place underneath. And then I'm going to have a little board that I'm going to print a little 3D piece that's going to glue onto the bottom. And then it's a case of pushing everything else through the back part here and then putting a cable tie through the whole thing. And this is how it looks at the end. So that's how I've set it up. The key is that you're going to plug everything into UART4, which is TX4 and RX4 on the flight controller. And the wiring diagram looks like this. Once you know that, and we know that Serial 4 is the one we're interested in, we can go into Mission Planner and we can actually set up the OSD type to be three, the Serial 4 protocol, because it's Serial 4 that we're actually plugging everything into for 33, make sure MSP options is zero, and then move everything around in the OSD tab to suit how you want it to be, and you're set. Thank you for spending your time today watching that video. You can find me in all the usual places on social media. And if you're trying to learn about a subject, then check out the playlist. All of my videos are organized into easy to follow playlists that if you're trying to learn a topic, will take you from the basics right the way through to some pretty advanced stuff.